so sorry I'm wearing the same vi same video. I'm wearing the same video. I decided to do a QA and a because I wasn't sure what to film and I thought it's been a while since I've done my last q and I've changed a lot. Thought it would be a good time for q and a So I'm gonna get comfortable. Let's get started. First question. What were you like in high school, middle school? Awkward. I mean, I went through my ugly duckling phase. It's awful. I did not like myself in high school. It took me a while to gain that confidence and gain assurance of myself. If you're in high school right now, please just wait until you're older because you will get that confidence and you will grow out of that awkward phase. We all go through it in adolescence. What's your favorite part of a typical day for you? I would say when I make my coffee and have that first sip and I just sit down and watch my show or read with my coffee and it just tastes delicious and that's probably my favorite time because I do that every day so it's probably my favorite time of the day ever. I'm a morning person usually. Lately not so much. How soon will you be moving out on your own again? I don't know. I planned on living here for at least a year to save for a car. I might even have a car by summer. That's my plan but I don't know. I'm kind of just playing it by ear um, and seeing what opportunities come up. If there's an opportunity to move in with roommates then I would probably take that over living at home with my mom. I got a lot of questions asking if I've ever been to England slash Europe. Nope, never been. I would love to go, but um, no, I'm, I've, the farthest I've been out of where I live, my hometown, is four hours away, and that's to Yosemite to go camping. What age did you move out of your parents' house? I was originally, I think I was 20, and I moved in with my boyfriend at the time and a group of friends, kind of, like some of my coworkers, well, one of my coworkers, his sister, and just a bunch of people into this house, um, and the house was absolutely horrid. I did film in that house, do you guys know? Um, and it was just falling apart. We could feel a breeze through the wall. I mean, it was just really bad. Your first place on your own isn't gonna be glamorous, not for everybody anyway. So, yeah, I think I was 20. If you could get a second tattoo, what would it be? I'm actually planning a couple tattoos. I just have to get the courage to go get them done because my last experience with this guy, um, was rough because um, I passed out. So I'm kind of like building the courage to go out and get it again. Um, I do want one on my back, like right here, a bun woman, which is like a, a stick figure of my mom. I, that's the best way I can explain it. Um, put it on my left shoulder because she's always got my back. And then I want the word always um, in quotes and that is for Harry Potter. That's my Harry Potter tattoo because it was said by the greatest character of all time. Um, I feel very passionate about it. And then I want a Halloween cat, which is like the arched back, you know, creepy cat because it represents my love for Halloween, my love for cats, my love for black cats specifically. A couple of you asked what's the meaning of my tattoo. I did a whole video on it. It says float on and it's in type font because I like to consider myself a writer. Haven't been lately. The hair in my eyelashes. They're gone. Float on song by, song by Modest Mouse, which basically is the same meaning for me as this two shall pass, meaning we'll all float on kind of feel you get that one thing that you want to accomplish in 2014 well I did the resolutions tag if you haven't seen that I'll link it below but um, one thing I want to add to that is I want to read 12 books by December <clears throat> wow I can't what is going on with me 12 books by December I know it probably doesn't seem like a lot for you guys but the fact that I read maybe zero books last year um, <laughs> would be a big step for me what piercings have you got slash want and what is your biggest fear and who are your favorite? Okay, a lot of questions. I have two uh, piercings on my ears, that's it. What is my biggest fear? I kind of, okay, some of these questions are kind of redundant for the TMI tag, so I'm not gonna answer that one. I kind of talked about a fear, fears of mine in that one, so I don't wanna like be repetitive. Favorite YouTubers, off the top of my head, Soothing Sista, Hey Claire, Annalie and Jesse, of course. Oh, Megan Rosette. You see psychology as something vital in the future. Definitely, and not just for me. I think psychology and the study of the mind and the brain is so important to understanding who we are as people and our culture. Just so much can be tied back to psychology. All of our behavior is explained with the brain, and I just think it will never not be important to learn about psychology and have people have a general understanding about how the mind works. Any hairstyle slash color that you want to try in the future? Well, I've actually been getting more 
of an urge to dye my hair brown again. I'm not going to yet. I really don't know. I kind of make spur of the moment decisions. I don't really plan them out too much um, because as my mom likes to say, whenever I go through a life change, I change my hair and that's very, very true. Whenever I feel stressed, I feel like I have to dye my hair regardless of if it needs dyeing. I just kind of want to like get in the shower and put color in it. Do you like any hip hop songs, even secretly? I like oldies, like Outkast. That's not really hip hop, <laughs> but um, you know, that kind of stuff. But no, I don't, I really don't. Who have you seen in concert and which band was the best live? I've actually have been to very few concerts. I did go to, there's this place called The Underground in kind of like where I live, um, and it was like connected to a church and they would put on shows and I actually saw Shiny Toy Guns before they went super popular. Like I was a really big fan of theirs before they were huge, um, when they just barely existed. And I went and saw them live, amazing. I was just dancing like a freak. And then um, I went to Taste of Chaos 2007, I wanna say. And I saw Aiden, um, which at the time I was obsessed with Aiden. I love Aiden now, I still listen to them. Oh no, I saw Santana Arctica, which was amazing. It's a power metal band from Finland. They're Finnish, right? I forget. Um, they were amazing live. I'm gonna say they were the best. I saw them at Slim's um, like bar in San Francisco and they were amazing. If you could be in a horror movie, which one would you like to be in? The Thing? The Thing is my favorite horror movie of all time, so I'm gonna say The Thing, even though that would scare the poop out of me um, to be in. I have no idea who your friends are and who you can trust. Your house is on fire, what do you save? Uh, my cats, for one. <laughs> they would be the number one thing I would save. I would grab my phone and my camera. I got two questions back to back about would you marry your boyfriend if he proposed to you? Do you think that you and Ryan will marry one day? Way too soon. <laughs> I don't know why people would ask that. We've been dating nine months. Um, no, we would wait, I mean, if we were still together three to four years, then I'd say, sure. Um, but yeah, it just won't happen until like three or four years. We both believe in dating a while before knowing that that's the one. And so I wouldn't get engaged again um, until I knew that they were the one. And if it's not Ryan, that would be really sad. So of course I would love it if it was Ryan because I love him very much right now, but um, it's way too soon to even say that. Have you thought about having any meetups in California? I know I'd wanna go. Thanks. Um, I have because so many of you recognize the mall I go to, <laughs> which is so hilarious to me. They're like, hey, I know where that is. Um, so maybe because it's easier, I would have a meetup at that mall because it's closest to me. Maybe this summer I'll do a small little meetup over at that mall for those of you who know where it is. What's your opinion on living slash deceased organ donors? I am a huge believer of organ donors. I truly believe in being an organ donor. It is so important. My stepdad would not be alive today if he, organ donors didn't exist. Um, a young boy lost his life and saved five people in the process, including Bill, my stepdad, which you guys love so much. Um, Bill had a liver transplant because he had liver cancer. Without that, he wouldn't be here. So I've always been an organ donor on my ID and my license since I could put that on there. Do you believe we could ever have a zombie apocalypse? Boy, do I hope so. My stepdad is like loaded with weapons and I would be so safe and it'd be kind of awesome at the same time to uh, fight some zombies, I don't know. Maybe we could. Are you still getting braces? What's the story with that? I'm talking so much today, my voice is going out. Um, yes, I'm still getting braces, hopefully this year. Um, I have to call to make the consult and I'm really kind of scared too because I'm gonna look so different and I'm honestly afraid, not, not for myself, but like for people's reactions to it. Are you bothered by people around you who smoke or do any drugs? I actually don't mind being around, like I've been around pot, I've never smoked it myself, um, I've been around people who have. Um, the smell does kind of bother me to an extent if I can't breathe. If we're all outside and I get a whiff, whatever, I'm cool. Um, smoke, I don't, you know, cigarettes, I don't like being around. I've never been around anybody who's done heavy drugs. Um, I've only been around pot and never tried it, never going to, I'm not ever interested in that kind of stuff. Um, and the next question, what was that? You guys hear that? 
I'm home alone too, I don't know what that was. And the next question, are you a drinker? If so, what's your favorite? I do drink on occasion. I'm not like a heavy drinker by any means. I love wine. And my favorite going out would be a white gummy bear. Holy crap, I don't even know what's in it. I think it's vodka. Um, but it is so sweet and so delicious. Depends where you go because I've had some good ones and some bad ones. What's your favorite book? Uh, that would be The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. It's always been my favorite. I've read it probably four or five times um, thus far. And the last question I think I'm going to answer is what is your number one tip in maintaining a happy relationship? I've never dated someone so honest as Ryan and so I'm working on being that honest as well and it's helped our relationship so much just that open honesty we can literally say anything to each other and i think that is so important there should be no secrets no not even white lies you know why lie i just think that open honesty and trust i mean everyone says trust is the main secret but it's true it really is i think trust is one of the most important things in a relationship and honesty um those are very generic responses but there's a reason why they're said a lot because they're very true let me know if you have any other questions for me down below hopefully i can type response them back to you um hopefully you enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you soon bye